Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lindsay, and today I have a video for you on the two different ways that Introverted Intuition and I build concepts. We're gonna get right into it. We're gonna talk about unconscious NI, and we're gonna talk about conscious NI. Now, these are two principles that I haven't heard anyone else speak about. That doesn't mean someone else out there hasn't figured this out too. But this is something that I have kind of put together conceptually from my own unconscious NI, and I'm now sharing it with you. So we're gonna go and we're gonna get started, and I hope this brings some understanding to once again, a very hard, abstract thing to explain. Unconscious NI. Imagine your head is a filing cabinet. Each day you observe or recall things and the unconscious NI brain is diligently drawing associations and clustering the most important items in yet to be understood files. These things may be understandings of what a thing is or what it is not or maybe a principle from somewhere else. NI is placing observations, what may seem from an outside perspective as random things, in similar files. This process is constantly happening in the background of the NI mind. These files are far from random. NI is feeling an overarching understanding and a relation of the contents within the file. Even though it is not yet complete, NI is working to define it as a singular entity. Around the time where the file is nearing completion, unconscious NI usually takes the file to the conscious brain to help it more actively find the missing piece. The file remains open until, all of a sudden, the missing piece is found and the concept, idea, understanding just snaps together. This makes NI very excited. The file can now be closed and the singular principle can be applied to anything in the sensory world or just stored for a later date. Sometimes these files are really huge containing a lot about different observations and sometimes they are very small and contain just a few. One thing that doesn't change is that the completed file and all of its contents have been rendered into one singular working principle. All of the layers have been flattened into a single image for my Photoshop friends. Conscious NI. Conscious NI gets to the same singular principle, but instead of slowly unconsciously categorizing, it begins with an idea of what the end principle should be. Conscious NI says, this is the thing I want to make or the understanding I wish to achieve. Now, I have to find all the pieces to make it so. The conscious state of NI is working overtime to figure out the pieces needed for one singular principle versus consistently organizing multiple background principles subconsciously that will eventually surface to the conscious mind. So there's a really important note at this point. For those people that don't have NI high in their stack, once an NI user has completed their file and has put together the pieces and they're like, this is the finished product, oftentimes to someone else, it'll still look incomplete. To them, the concept may seem completely disconnected still because they're not putting together the concept the same way that someone does that has NI. People like this will often say things like, oh yeah, prove it in the sensory. And that can make the NI user a little bit frustrated because we know that it works, but now we have to pull this whole thing in the sensory just to prove to someone that it works. And they're not all sensory pieces that are involved in the singular working concept. So when someone doesn't understand the NI concept, it's usually because one of two reasons. The first is because the person who doesn't understand the concept is just looking at the sensory pieces, but those are only some of the blocks that are being used. There are also blocks that are principles that have existed before this singular principle, and those are being used in there as well. NI bridges large gaps of understanding by assuming the correlations of its parts. Because of this, it needs minimal pieces to bring together a singular working concept. 
This is one way that NI differs from SI because SI wants to have the sensory pieces all lined up in a row. NI will have some sensory parts and some non-sensory parts and it will draw connections through the missing pieces. After the principle is completed through either the unconscious NI or the conscious NI, the file is closed and that principle is complete. And now that principle can be applied to any other new principle in the future or just be used on its own. Whenever I'm facing a hard challenge in life or like a goal that's like, it's a hard one, I always remind myself that everything I have done in the past has prepared me for doing exactly this thing. All understanding is interchangeable. A particular situation that I may have gone through or may have learned from may not apply literally to something I do in the future, but the concept of what happened in that moment, the understanding that was pulled through that situation can almost always apply to something in the future. For example, when I was a little kid learning how to ride a bike, I wasn't just simply learning how to ride a bike. I was learning how to propel motion forward through applied energy. So the principle lives on past just the situation and that's what NI is constantly doing. All right guys, I hope this video made sense. I hope you have a little bit better of an understanding of how NI works, how it builds these concepts in these two different ways through the unconscious mind and through the conscious mind, how they kind of interchange. And again, how these principles are existing and carry through the brain of someone with NI. And that is our bread and butter. That is what our brains rely on, our overarching principles over just learning a sensory thing. Um, and yeah, have a great day. I'll see you in my next video.